awesome people this is Jo and this is private practice today is Wednesday the 16th of August and I have made it through the day Woohoo! I will admit I did get to 2 30 this afternoon and my brain didn't want to function anymore one of those moments where I found myself starting one project going no that's too hard so I went on to something that I thought was going to be easier and went no that's too hard so something as simple as trying to find a book on Amazon and then work out how on earth to get it to my audible account that all just became too complicated for me at around 2 30 this afternoon so uh, I went I had a nap well I didn't really have a nap I just needed to lie down my head's throbbing quite a bit now, but it's nowhere near as bad as it has been over the last couple of days. So thank you for all the well wishes and people who have reached out to me, who have wished me well in my recovery. My goal in sharing this is not to go have a pity party for me, but basically be accountable to my own self-care and walking my talk, but also showing you how we need to incorporate wellness and self-care into recovery because being sick is going to happen uh, like I talked about yesterday having a plan for those days when you're not well enough to work or when you've got some emergency that comes up where you can't be at work and having people who can either step in for you or uh, a system in place that lets your clients know or your customers know or without you feeling like your reputation is going to be ruined or that people will never speak to you again it's really, really important and it's something I'm going to start including in all of my coaching sessions with my clients. It's a risk management plan and we do run around managing our negative self thoughts and around money and freaking out about money, but now we're going to do one around health. Um, so look out any of my clients. We've got a group call tomorrow and we're going to mastermind around this. So what awesomeness has occurred today? Well, I managed to get through my phone messages from the last two days and my emails from the last couple of days. And then I was able to sit down and regroup and go, right, what are the things that I need to focus on in the next week to be able to help my business go forward? The temptation for me has always been to go, ooh, I'm well enough to be at work. I haven't been at work for a couple of days. I now need to do three days worth of work in a day that never served me well <laughs> and I know my husband was really quite concerned this morning when he saw that I was up because it took me a, a, quite a while to get up I wasn't great when I woke up this morning and he was very concerned that I was going to overdo it today but I don't think I have I think I've paced this really well and I'll be tired tonight because I'm still in pain and that's to be expected there's nothing traumatic going on I haven't got a brain tumor I'm not dying although yesterday I beg to differ um I just know that this is a part of a recovery process that when we are recovering from something we will be fatigued and we will be tired and it's also important for me to understand that when my body is fighting pain and when it's trying to recover from an injury then I'm going to be more susceptible to colds and flus and viruses like cold sores so I've upped this works for me not saying it works for everyone so I, I've upped the amount of greens in my diet and um, the extra nutritional components that I can pop into my mouth so that um, that's also including dark chocolate because there's antioxidants there so ha ha <laughs> hmm the other thing I really needed to focus on today was my posture so because I've got an injury to my neck right at the base of my skull to where my my neck and my head join there's a whole heap of little nerves there they've got special names but we're not going to try and remember them today because my brain hurts but when they get tense and tight, they pull on my scalp and then my, my head wants to rock back, which puts it in a really awkward position. And then my shoulders want to tense up and then it's just bad. It's all over Red Rover. So I've had to focus on my posture today. And that's posture when I'm sitting, when I'm standing, when I'm walking, when I'm moving from sitting to standing. Because you'd be amazed at how quickly we want to kind of hunch our shoulders and jut our necks forward and all sorts of ugliness. So I'm going to give another shout out to Kath Cleveland from Occupational Focus because I think Kath's program maybe 18 months ago now, Work Health Wellness, really focusing on posture and, and this is where I learn about moving more at work and how to use a height adjustable desk appropriately and when to sit and when to stand and how to incorporate more movement into your day. So Kath, I've been using your resources today. I'm so incredibly grateful that I took the time and energy and spent that money on getting that program in, in here. And it not just being new data, but it's become a habit that, that I've formed now. So I will put 
details um, on how you can get a hold of Kath's stuff. Uh, her emails that she sends out each week are really short, snappy, to the point, and give you a jolt of something you can do immediately to start looking after yourself, particularly around posture and around ergonomics, uh, which is not just how you position yourself in a workstation, it's actually the interrelationship between a person and their work. But that's a story for another day. Today it's been exciting because we've had new referrals come into the business, so new paying clients come into the business, so much so that I've got three of my consulting team telling me they're full. Oh, so I get to recruit again, I get to recruit again, I get to recruit again, yay. So awesome rehabilitation consultants in the Sydney area who are passionate, who don't want to be micromanaged, call out to you if you want some more work, you want to work with a team that are inspiring and encouraging, then please let me know because I'm going to have work that I need help with. <laughs> Just thought I'd say that. Uh, uh, recruitment, for anybody who needs to recruit, is exhausting. Rec <laughs> I, I can hear all the people going, hallelujah, amen. Recruitment's exhausting. I don't know any business owner that, that tends to go, yay, can I please recruit again? Recruitment is so much fun. You can have all the systems and all the processes. You can have an induction this and an orientation that and a form for this and a do this and a do that. But seriously, when push comes to shove, recruitment is exhausting. And there's always that tiny little bit of doubt that you think you've made an awesome decision for your business and then you wake up at two o'clock in the morning going, oh my God, yeah, I know I'm not alone. I know I am not alone. I <laughs> uh, haven't quite figured out the method for getting rid of that fear and panic, apart from just doing the do and making sure you have a really good induction process and supervision process as you onboard new staff members. And just reflect on the fact that you're asking them to come and be a part of your baby, and that's a really hard thing to do. Ooh, remember the first time you got your child babysat? How freaky was that, even if it was your parents? Oh, oh, that's like asking someone to come and babysit. Whoa, there you go. That's why it's freaky. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. It's like asking someone to come and look after our baby. Hmm. Ha, ah, there we go. Yes, excellent news. So I want to encourage all of you who are watching this who are about to start your day, yay, Northern Hemisphere, get your water bottles out. Two litres of water today, people, because that's going to make you move more because you're going to need to be running to the bathroom a lot. Two litres of water, not coffee in the water, not soda in the water, not sugar in the water, just water, water. Come on, you can do it. Let's get our heart rates up. Let's get moving around. Because if we're going to sit on our tushies and see clients all day, then our bodies are not going to be very happy. There we go. For those of you who are finishing your work day, well, congratulations. You have gotten through another day. You have been awesome today. You have done good stuff today. And if you've been recovering like I've been recovering, well, then high five to you because recovery is important. We don't want to be going and sharing our germs and our lack of function with people. Recovery is important. So I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Hopefully we won't have a flare up of the head and neck pain. But if we do, yeah, I'll let you know and we'll just deal with it. This is Private Practice and this is Joe.